Hi, I'm Asia here with um, ID8 TV here with Dino Andrade. How are you yes, doing? Yes, I'm doing terrific. I'm doing terrific. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired because <laughs> I just got back from Atlanta, Georgia, from uh, Dragon Con, oh, where I was nice. there for a week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. Uh, back to be home. Good to be home. <laughs> so I know that you are well known for a whole bunch of things like World of Warcraft, um, Call of Duty. Oh, there was another big one. I mean, you have like the mouse right here. I remember watching that cartoon. How do you feel to be part of such a big legacy? Uh, wow. Well, you know, there's a few that I have been honored to have been a part of. Uh, I mean, the character of Pop for the Rice Krispies. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies. You know, doing that uh, was amazing because that character's been around since the 30s. Uh, last year, when I had the honor of doing Speedy Gonzalez for an episode of the new Looney Tunes, that was amazing. That was like, that was a dream come true because Speedy was a hero to me as a kid, you know. So, arriba, arriba, andale, andale, ole, ipa, ole. I am Speedy Gonzalez. And that just, oh, that meant the world to me to do that. And then to do the, the Scarecrow in Batman Arkham Asylum, you're in my uh, come now, Batman. Now, now being part of the Batman franchise, uh, you know, it, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. It, it feels like uh, like that. That's that's a great big part of my job now is carrying on these traditions <laughs> and being very very careful and gentle with them. You know. Uh, and, and it's just, it's been a thrill. It's been a thrill and honor. I've, I've absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. I have just the best job in the world. I step into a booth, I make funny noises. They give me little green rectangles with presidents <laughs> on it that I can then exchange for goods and services like, you know, toilet paper, food, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's great. I have the best job in the world. Um, one, one really big question I want to ask you is diversity and the importance of representation throughout the media. Um, I myself am Asian American as well, Native Hawaiian, and I, um, I always see just not me on screen or heard in voices. How does it feel to be a person of color in the media today? It's very freeing, actually. Uh, I started uh, in on camera in the 1980s, and it, it was rather frustrating because being Mexican-American I got practically every other audition I was being sent on was as a Mexican gangbanger you know and I got really really tired of it but then when I get into voiceover I could be anyone and I was in no way limited by what I look like or my heritage it was all up to what I could do as an actor with my voice you know no one has ever said you know uh, Dino we'd love to have you audition for this animated show but we're not we're not casting Mexicans this week you know it's like that's never happened you know that's the joy and beauty of voiceover I can be anything if you saw the uh, the Target commercials uh, that they did for Christmas a couple years ago uh, that, that involved all of these characters including these um, old English gingerbread men <laughs> Uh, those old English gingerbread men were actually a five foot four Mexican from Los Angeles, you know. And so I, I'm just, it, it's freeing. I can be anyone. And that's, that's a real joy. That's a real thrill. Uh, and I love that. I love that. Awesome. So explain to me your soulgeek.com. Soul please. Geek. Yes, soulgeek.com. Okay, I will tell you that story. Um, uh, there was a, a wonderful voice actress by the name of Mary Kay Bergman. Uh, she passed away in November of 1999. She was, at the time, uh, the week before she passed away, at the time she, she was voted by the Hollywood Reporter as one of the top five women in the field of animation. She had done over 40 animated series, over 30 feature films, hundreds of commercials. Uh, she was a force of nature. Uh, at the time of her passing, in November 99 we had been married for 10 years and she was um, she was my best friend and one of the things that we absolutely loved and reveled in was geekdom we would go to conventions we had Starfleet uniforms we collected comic books and animation cells and film scores and she was my geek uh, for about five years after her passing I was basically a just shell of a human being 
when someone came into my life I had never thought I'd ever see again was my old high school sweetheart. I hadn't seen her in some 26 years. Um, she helped mend a shattered heart and the two of us together created soulgeek.com as a way of making something good out of tragedy. I really wanted that every couple we brought together, you know, and now since then, uh, you know, hundreds of couples all over, over 30 weddings, three births, all of this, every single one of these to me is part of Mary Kay's living legacy now, and that's why it was created. Uh, it's, it's basically Match.com for us, <laughs> fans of sci-fi, horror, fantasy, animation, anime, manga, conventions, cosplay, fan art, fan fiction. You, if you're into great works of imagination, it's a great place to find someone to revel in it. It is 100% free, uh, and we just, I, it, it, I just want people to find what I, in my lifetime, have been lucky enough to now have twice. Uh, you know, Mary Kay and I, we had 12 wonderful years together. Now uh, I've been uh, with, with, with my Casey uh, for quite a while. In fact, we now have an eight-year-old son. So, you know, it's, it's a lot. Can say hi? <laughs> hi. This is my son, Connor. Hi. <laughs> and he's also a voice actor. No way. He is. He is. Uh, yeah. His uh, so IMDb page must be much longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, here's, uh, this is... Oh, that is yeah. precious. Yeah. Cute. So, that's the story behind soulgeek.com. It's, that's, that's it is beautiful. purely a work of heart. We are not in any way corporate sponsored. We're not a subdivision of some dating conglomerate that said, hey, here's a niche we can get into. Uh, it, it is entirely a work of heart. And, and like I said, it was just done because I, I wanted there to be some other legacy to my wife's name. Wow, that's that's that beautiful. That you. whole that story is there. If you go to soulgeek.com and click on the link story of Soul Geek, it's all there. That's, that's a gorgeous story. Thank you for opening up to me. I really appreciate that. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. You put this out there. Think about this for a moment. You put this out there. Somebody might hear this and go to Soul Geek. They might find someone special. Right. And that will be because you did this. <laughs> that you. will be on you. Okay? Thank you. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I appreciate it. You're, you're so, oh my gosh, don't make me cry. I can't. Thank you. Um, before we end it, are you working on anything new right now? One thing that I did do recently that, that was a real thrill that I can tell you about, um, <laughs> because I don't know if it's going to be released in the U.S. or not, uh, but it was, it, was, it was done here. Uh, there's a, a French television series, an animated series that's very famous called Sam Sam. Okay. And a feature film version of it was made wow. uh, for the French market, but, but they also wanted, uh, for international distribution, they wanted it recorded with American actors here. And I was cast as the villain, and my son was cast as one of the heroes. Wow. So it was real, just, I mean, bucket list <laughs> time. I'm working with my son side by side in a recording studio. It was the greatest joy in the world. Just the greatest joy in the world. And whether or not this film is ever actually released in the US, I don't care. <laughs> I will get my hands on a copy of it and I will cherish it because my son and I worked on it together. And that's just the best. A beautiful family legacy. Thank you. Oh, you're so very welcome. You're so very welcome. I'm so glad I was able to find you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Me too. Me too. So yes, go to soulgeek.com. www.soulgeek.com. Find your soul geek there, please, please. And in the meantime, keep buying these video games, so I can keep working. That would be nice. So he can keep working. So I can keep buying these toys for him. <laughs> They're not cheap. I agree. He agrees. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate talking with You're you today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Latino. We hug. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I'm Hawaiian. We hug too. <laughs> we both feed each other. That's, that's the that's both, both both ethnicities. All right. Thank you. This is Asia with ID8 TV.